Hi everybody, I am incredibly excited that we've now got Rust custom community servers for Xbox and PlayStation servers, but remember there is going to be a lot of early problems that we have and obviously you're going to have to know how to deal with problems going forward as well. And one of the big ones at the moment is the unable to connect services are currently unavailable. Um, now there may well be something else that is going on, but the things that you really want to think about is doing a restart. So if we jump over to our G portal um, uh, dashboard, if you go down to admin and click on restarts, um, there's a, there's, there's a few things that we can do to sort this out. Now, the first thing I would say is, now I just simulated that by taking my server offline, but if you do have a problem, the first thing you want to just try, if your server members are saying that we can't get in, it's saying we can't access it, uh, the server side, just do, a, do just do a simple restart, and that may well uh, sort your problems out. Just remember, it probably takes about five minutes for the server to restart, so, so let, that do, let that do its thing. And what you want to have is, you want to have a schedule for restarts. Um, if you're new to owning a customer, server if you haven't done some something like this before is they always tend to be a little bit unstable um, and this um, gets more and more of an issue the more complicated your server is the more players you have in the more things they're building the more stuff you spawn in so what you want to do is you want to add new entries so you want to say add a daily entry um, say I don't know um, I've done mine at say 115 uh, we don't want it to be a wipe you just want it to be no wipe and then you'd save that and that way your server will restart at that time and as you can see down here my server is set to restart at one o'clock in the morning and one o'clock in the afternoon so every 12 hours it's going to have a simple restart um, and the idea of this is it kind of is clearing the memory down um, it's kind of resetting the server just like you turn your pc on and off don't you um, or off and on you know to, to make it work better also Rust servers do not like to be run indefinitely. They want a full wipe quite regularly. So what you can see here is I've also put in a full wipe um, for the first of every month. And I think that's going to be very important going forward. Unlike, say, something like DayZ, where you can run a server for six months, a year, you know, basically indefinitely, Rust servers want to be wiped. And the kind of the gameplay loop of Rust is to have this. Now, Obviously, if, you've, if you're just running your own server and it's only you and you're building, then you're not going to be putting much strain on the server, are you? But if you've got people coming in and playing and doing stuff and building stuff, that wipe is probably going to be pretty much mandatory, I would have thought. So there we go. That's kind of how you solve your connection problems and services not available. Do a restart first just to get things going. And then make sure you've added some restarts from your dashboard so that your server will restart, I would suggest, at least twice a day. Um to keep it uh, healthy and running smooth anyway hopefully that's helpful if it has been hit like once you more the same press subscribe and i'll see you again soon